Okay, so for this week's assignments, you are going to have to be working with some irrational numbers. On the board though, I only have rational numbers. Your job is going to be estimating. Okay, so I wrote up some square numbers, meaning nine has the same two numbers that can be multiplied by each other to equal nine. 16 can be divided by four and four, okay? A square number means it has two of the same factors, okay? A number can also have a cube root. What this means is the same number can be broken down three times to get that number, okay? So if I did eight backwards, eight divided by two is four, divided by two again gets us down to two. Or if I went through it forwards, two times two is four, times two again is eight, okay? So I'm finding numbers that are cubed and numbers that are squared. So depending on what your assignment is looking for, be very careful with the two versus the three, okay? That's going to make a huge difference. Okay, if I said, what do you think the square root of 10 is? You don't need a calculator. Most of your assignments are just going to ask you to estimate. Well, 10 is between nine and 16, right? And it's closer to nine. So I would assume that the square root of 10 would be three point something, probably closer to 3.1 or 3.2 than it would be to 3.9 because 3.9 would give you a an answer probably more around 15, something like that. Okay, this could work the same way when it comes to uh, cube roots. So if I said that I wanna find the cube root of 70, okay, 70, falls here between 64 and 125. It appears to be much closer to 64 than 125, so once again, I may say it's about 4.1 or 4.2 rather than 4.8 or 4.9, okay? So you're using those estimation techniques to basically guess or get a ballpark of where you think your answer should be on this week's assignments, okay? If you have any other questions, go ahead, email me, and I will help walk you through this assignment, okay?